Welcome to our lesson about working with soft shadows. Let's start by rendering our image. We'll click on the Render Image icon. The current view is selected. Output, High Anti-Aliasing. And let's go to the Style tab. True Reflection is checked. Back to the General tab, and let's click Render. And once again, I'll pause my video during the rendering process so you don't have to sit through a couple minutes of rendering. Okay, we're almost done here. Here we have the shadows looking pretty sharp. Let's figure out how we can make a more realistic shadow. Let's close the output window and close the render image dialog window. In my lighting style, I've only got one light on. Let's right click on it and select Edit. Now let's go to the Shadows tab for this light. Currently, sharp shadows are selected. Let's use soft shadows instead. The density, let's leave at 100%. Quality, we'll set it medium. Let's click Save. And done. And let's render our image again with the exact same settings. I'll just go ahead and render. And I'll pause my video again so you don't have to wait the couple minutes for this rendering to complete. Okay, we're back. As you see, the shadows look too washed out. Let's close the Render Output window and close the Render Image dialog window. Let's make some more edits. Right-click on our light, select Edit, and let's go back to the Shadows tab. Let's make some adjustments to the light parameter setting. Let's say 4. Basically, what this light parameter setting does is specify the diameter of the soft shadow that's cast. Let's click Save. And done. And let's render our image again. Click on Render Image. Use the same settings and click Render. And once again, I'm going to pause my video until the rendering process is complete. Welcome back. That took a minute 21 seconds. Now our shadows look less washed out and much more realistic. You can tweak the light parameter setting even more and do a couple test renders to see what you think. And let's close the Render Output window and close the Render Image dialog window. One more thing I wanted to cover. Let's right-click on our light and select Edit. Back to the Shadows tab. We have an option here to use style settings. If you check this option, you're not able to make any adjustments here. The shadow settings can then be controlled from the master lighting style. And of course, this is useful when you've got many different lights and you want to control the shadow parameters from one single point. Let's click Save. And let's click Done. And this concludes our lesson about working with soft shadows.